Bonjour to the morning as I rubbing RX and welcome back to more Super Mario 64. Last time we started the Shifting Sandland and this time we're going to continue it. And I didn't realize this until after the fact, but we just got our 60th star, which is halfway through the game. So now we have Stand Tall on the Four Pillars, which we are going to use the Koopa Shell that I show in one of the previous missions to give us a hand with this. I always have issues getting up here. I don't know why. I never had issues. So I, I think I've said this before, but the first version of this game I played was 64 DS. I don't think I ever had issues in that, but the characters also felt a little different in there. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. Um. I'm gonna have to go get the wing cap. Because that shell is gone forever now. So, as the mission implies, we want to stand on top of the four pillars. Not not too difficult for three of them. There's one that's actually a little difficult, and I'll show you which one that is right now. This one here, it has that death, death quicksand everywhere. Um, and you want to be careful. You want to kind of, like, move around a little bit. Like I said, death quicksand everywhere. Okay, let's try that again. I like the wing cap idea, so we're gonna keep with that. Let's just get this hard one out of the way for now. Um, and hopefully I won't die this time. Oops, I almost missed there. Okay, cool. And we have this fly guy. So kind of run in circles. Be careful. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on. I hate this tornado. Please stop. I just need to get over here a little bit. There we go. That is all I wanted. Uh, this... Okay. So we're gonna go... Oops. Oops. Uh, onto here. And then we just need to get onto the fourth pillar here. And the top of the pyramid starts to spin off, revealing a secret hole. So you gotta be careful, don't jump off of this and uh, screw yourself, but you're just gonna ride this down. We are in the middle of the pyramid right now. And eventually it'll come to a stop somewhere right here. And behind us is an entrance into another hole. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Who walk here? Who break seal? Wake up, ancient one. We go like light rumble. We go like intruders. Now battle hand to hand. This is, what is with this camera? Okay, this is like eye rock or something. You need to hit him in his palm eyes. D don't ask me. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> He'll like to try to shove you off the platform, which is instant death. I forget how many hits each eye takes, and I was not list paying attention. This one, I think, needs two more, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so there's that. And... Grumble, what happened? Crushed like a pebble. So strong, you rule ancient pyramid for today. We take... You now take star of power. We sleep darkness. 
I really like it. He's actually one of my favorite bosses. Alright, free flying for 8 red coins. So this is our 8 red coin mission, but not going to be our 100 coin mission. Uh, the first 8 red coins actually behind where you start. Kind of scary here, because if you walk the wrong way, you'll slide... That is not what I meant by it being kind of scary. What I was going to say is you can kind of get on the hill next to it and slide down, and then it pushes you into there, not just somehow me walking into it weirdly. Because you can't really tell where the hill is depending on the angle. So I like to do the camera like this, and then go back. Because sometimes, like this could slide you into the death sand there. I am almost out of lives. Maybe I shouldn't have taken a break the last time I played because... I am... It's something. Okay, there's one here. I can think of where... Oh, there's one over there. Mm. Let's just get the wing cap for now. So there's... You have to fly around and pick up these eight coins, but the star spawns out here, so it's not a good mission to do your hundred coins in. Because you can't actually get to all the coins. <clears throat> Remember when I said I really dislike this world? Like, I really dislike this world? This and Hazy Maze Cave, I just, there's something about them. And I forgot a red coin already, look. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> that could have been bad. I just don't like this. Like, there's just so much death around. Like, at least, like, how come? Lava. You bounce off, take three points of damage, but sand is just like, nope, you're dead. Rest in pieces, I'm sorry. Alright, there we are. Like, I, I don't know if I ha if I can die twice or just once more, but I am definitely cutting it close. Oh my god, how do I grab the stupid coin? And I hear a tornado that's gonna come and kill me. I don't like the wing cap. I don't. It does not work the way you think it would. Okay, I got one. Okay, there's that one. So now, let me go redo the wing cap so it doesn't fall off and I fall into a pit of death. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to, so I guess we're just going to grab this one. Why didn't you take off? Why is it not doing the triple jump? Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't think this is me. Like, that was twice in a row it didn't do a triple jump. Because so I tried to do it off the platform, and then I tried to do it there, and it just didn't do the triple jump. Like, I know this, this, uh, port of this game isn't, like, perfect, but I don't think it's... I've never had any issues with it, but maybe that's one of the issues. I don't care that I missed that coin. I'll be back over here anyway, because there's the star spot right there. See, it worked there. Well, I don't know what I did differently, but it worked. Oh, yay! I don't want this tornado. Like... Everything just halts your progress. Why did I bounce off? 
Like, there's nothing here that should be doing this. Let's just get this stupid coin. Like, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have triple jumped into, uh, towards a pit. But I don't think it should matter. I think... What does this bob on buggy say? Klepto, stay away from me. I forget there's a can in here. I'll prepare the can for you. It's not needed for anything. But there is a can in here. And then this bob on buggy here is trying to kill me. go okay so we stand on this pillar now and then we triple jump for this coin and then six wait what am I missing oh I know what I'm missing okay Maybe I shouldn't triple jump to death. Does the exact same thing. There we go. Eight red coins. <sighs> Please don't die on the way there, because I would prefer to not have a game over today. Thank you. Good night. I squished the head of the wiggler, or the pokey. I didn't know that was a thing. How did I miss? There we go. One of the worst part. <clears throat> I have to do this mission again. Because now we're doing the hundred coins. And there's not a... I mean, I think there are a lot of coins here. But there's not enough coins for me to justify not getting a lot of these red coins. Because 16 coins is quite a few coins. Maybe I won't get all of them. But, I mean, if I can at least get the non-dangerous ones, I'll be satisfied. Okay, there. Get your ass back here. Okay. All right, six coins already. Look, we're making great progress. We're hi, Sunny. We're sixty percent of the way there. Bomb respond. Lay down, Sunny. Okay, we got that. Oh, shoot. Come here. Please don't lose the blue coin. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh. No. No. Goomba. Goomba. Goomba, get your butt back here. Haha, -ha, now you don't have a butt. And then we hit this block. go then we will grab this koopa or my god why can't i think of pokey why can't i say pokey um okay see i know why that triple jump didn't work Look at how few coins I have. I only have 28, and there's not a lot more coins here. Um, now we need to go back over here. Avoid the tox boxes. Avoid klepto, which I don't know if klepto can steal my hat when I'm wearing the wing cap. I don't see why not, but I don't know if it ta actually takes the hat or just the wing cap. Okay, it doesn't look like it can actually take it. Um, what's this? 
Ooh, come here, come on. I like this game, I swear. I believe there's coins on the side of the pyramid somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where the somewhere is. Perfect. Okay. We're doing like two missions in one for this, because I'm also going to be standing atop the four pillars because of these singular coins. Yep, look at that. And then I am going to just... Well, I'm going to just say screw it. We're going to go in here, and if I screw it up, I will yell at myself, and it'll be fine. <sighs> Come on. Thank goodness. All right. So this mission is the... What is it called? Pyramid Puzzle. It is... It's one of those missions where I don't know if I ever figured this out if I never played the original or the DS version. Because this one. This got changed to be a Silver Stars mission in the DS version, which show up on the map. This one, you just have to find, I think, like five random coins. To make a star appear. And all of the stars are in the pyramid. Like, it just is a weird mission. It's not the only one of its kind, but I'm not a fan of either of them, so. <clears throat> but because of the fact that you have to really explore the pyramid in this one, I find this personally to be the best mission for the hundred coins. Um, you basically have to go up the entire pyramid in this mission. And there are a lot of coins around this pyramid, like these. I, my phone is going crazy and I'm worried about what happened. I think it's partially my family, but it might be work too. Not calling me in, but just asking questions. We're at 79. We should be okay. I just... I don't like it. I don't... I don't like Shifting Sandland. Hazy Maze Cave. I don't like the missions in Shifting Sandland. Hazy Maze Cave. I don't like, um... I like the missions. I just don't like the 100 coins. I don't think Hazy Maze Cave is too bad. The 100 coins just pisses me off a lot. And we'll have to even see if I can remember where the treasure of this world is. But I'm definitely going to be able to get the 100 coins. There's, it's not too easy to die inside the pyramid. It's a lot easier outside. I'm trying to remember where I need to go, though. Is this the Grindel? Yes. Oh, there we go. Come on, there we go. Fire. I, I know kind of, I know what I need to do once I get to the place where I do it. I just need to figure out where the place is that I do it. Does that make sense? I know you can't respond. Camera. Anything over here? No. Mummified thwomp. Oh, here it is. Okay. And if I just run up here, ninety-nine and one hundred. See, you don't need all of the coins, but it definitely helps. Or all of the red coins. Uh, no, I don't want to save. Alright, so we want to... Go here. And then, we want to... Right here? 
Yep. Now, the other one... Oh, I don't remember where this last one is. I think it's, like, here? Yes. And see how it's giving me a number similar to red coins? And here's number four. Like, it's pretty... It's pretty flowing, but it's just such a weird mission. It Once you find that first coin, the others come quick, but that first coin is what screws you. Here we go. And with that, we have completed Shifting Sandland. Next time, we're going to go see what's behind that big door. Actually, we're going to get a cutscene here with 64 stars. Oh, no, we aren't. Never mind, it's 70 stars. My apologies. So we're going to see what's behind the big star door over here. Until then, au revoir.